kid in the corner on a roll away bed, spare bedroom, eyes open wide to the tick of the clock, the hum of the radio, Frank Sinatra swaying in time to the whispering hiss of the steam radiator, clearing its throat with a will. The house is a giant. Asleep and alive, I pull the sheets closer. I wonder what's filling the dreams of my grandparents' house. The dreams of my grandparents' house. Now there's a cast iron peeler. Clamp to the table, grabbing steams, shedding their skins. The brown of the crust, the black of the burner, the shine of the tin scoop in the old flour bin. There's pickles and spinach and beans under glass on the shelf at the foot of the stair. To plant and to pick. To lay enough by to last through the winter, with a little left to spare, were the dreams of my grandparents' house. The dreams of my grandparents' house. The older bones. Find warm homes when eyesight and hindsight fail. Younger hands carve bigger plans of hammer and sawtooth and nail. Honeycomb are broken open, and the honey is gone, and the kitchen is stainless and spotlessly clean of the footprints of five generations. And I don't want to visit, 'cause I don't want to see. I don't want to let these changes erase my dreams. My grandparents' house, my dreams, my grand.